in our BG Live open air studio at the Art Summer Stage with uh, Jonah, David, and Alec from Sound Underground, all the way from Miami, Florida, to downtown Veliko Trnovo in Bulgaria. So, uh, Jonah, tell me, quite a journey from Florida to Bulgaria to present your new debut album. Uh, why did you decide to make such a long journey? Well, um, it all began about about a year ago. I, I got an idea that that uh, you know I live with these fantastic musicians, and I wanted to take them on tour somewhere to Europe. And I've always had an interest in Bulgaria because of the folklore music. I have many friends in the San Francisco area where I'm originally from um, that play this music and. Uh, I've been slowly getting very into it over the years and I thought that it might be great to, to come see the country where it, it comes from and, and we just made some phone calls, you know, asked whoever we knew if they knew anybody anywhere around Europe and actually wound up with a lot of connections in Bulgaria and um, you know, we just kept making phone calls and more phone calls and each one would lead to another one. and. And, and we wound up with a lot of gigs that are taking us all across the country and we're incredibly excited to be here. Tell us more about your formation and uh, what was the idea behind your music, basically? Well, uh, I guess normally, you know, jazz groups have a, a, drum and a, a drummer and a bass player and, you know, we only have a guitar, a trumpet and an alto. Um, but I think that uh, it just kind of started because we all live in the same house and it was kind of natural for us to play together. Um, and then once we started playing, we realized that we could make really, you know, intimate, uh, I guess, like close music that didn't have to, didn't need the drums and didn't need the bass, um, like in most, you know, jazz. Um, but I think what's come out of it has been really cool and really special. Kind of, you know, I, I don't hear too many groups like this, and it's kind of like a, it's a little duo between me and Jonah, and then a duo between Alec and Jonah, um, and then all of us playing together, just kind of back and forth. So it's really. It's fun. Yeah. Well, tell me something, some more about your album. It's your debut album. I think it was released in May. Very hot now, but it sounds to me very kind of kind of complete, rounded piece of music. So, how long have you been recording or thinking over it? Um, well, our album features uh, original music by us, as well as um, a, a few. Well, I, I guess just one. One uh, jazz standard by Charlie Parker, and um, we uh, recorded it at the University of Miami, where we're all students um, in our studio there. Um, over three different sessions, and it it took a long time, a lot of uh, mixing and mastering and listening to the music and um, recording different takes. Um, but we finally got a finished product that we're very happy with, um, and we think it really represents our sound as a group. So, so far you've been for a week here in Bulgaria. What's, what's your impression of Sozopol, Varna, now Veliko Trnovo, and I see you're heading to Plovdiv. What are your impressions and your program from now on? So, where can people see you? Well, yeah, we've had an absolutely wonderful time in Bulgaria so far. You know, I, I hear a lot about when groups go on tour that they say, you know, well, that they go to so many beautiful cities and then, uh, you know, don't really spend much time in between the hotel and the venue and the train station and then they're gone and, you know, so we certainly have made an effort in organizing this tour to uh, give ourselves space to really explore these places that we're going to and, and we're uh, very happy that we have. We had a uh, marvelous week so far. It's been one week. We uh, started in Varna. We uh, played in Borgas. We had a day off, a beautiful day off. In Sosa Paul, uh, and and now here in Tarnovo, and uh, next we're headed to Plovdiv, and this Thursday, um, August 7th, we'll be playing at Bebop Cafe in Plovdiv, uh, um, and after that we'll be at the Bonsko Jazz Festival for all five days. Um, every night we're playing in the uh, Perun Lodge at the piano bar from, from uh, 23 hours to 1 in the morning. Um, and we also have a set on the main stage, and then we're headed to the Nicheville Jazz Festival in Nish, Serbia. 
briefly before going to Sofia. We'll be playing at Studio 5 on August 16th, the Saturday, and um, at an outdoor stage in Sofia on the 17th. And we'll have plenty of time to explore those places as well, and we're really looking forward to it. We're trying here to organize events, as you know, and uh, young Bulgarian musicians, like young like you, are always complaining about lack of funding, that uh, they can't uh, pursue their ideas uh, here, and it's so difficult. What's, what's your advice to them? Well, uh, I, I hesitate to say this because I know that it's easier said than done, but I really think that if you put your mind to it, uh, and and you explore all of your connections because that's really the most important thing in music is who you know and who likes you <laughs> you know but if you if you explore those connections and you set your mind to something I think you can do it I, I remember a year ago thinking in my bedroom it would be cool to go somewhere to Europe to Bulgaria with a group with these guys it would be it would be cool and I was like, but it, it, it might not happen. But then I decided that I was going to make it happen. And I had no idea how I would do it. And, and I remember I told them and they were like, yeah, sure, whatever, you know. If you, yeah, you won't make it happen. And then, <laughs> and then we started getting some gigs and I said, well, why don't we make an album? And, you know, and we can sell the album to help us pay for the tour. And they said, that's so much work. And then, and then we made an album anyway, you know. <laughs> it's just, it, you know, we just really, you know, put our whole selves into it and, and talk to everyone that we knew that could possibly help us out and and we had people do us some pretty huge favors and really help us out and, and, and we're very fortunate for that but it's also just you know if you approach it with a that kind of a drive I think that it was just destined to happen. <laughs>